Let's do some lip syncing. Check out my link in the video description to get this image to use as a guide while you animate. I decided that these shapes and letters look good to me, but feel free to change this up so it works for you. While I usually work in 12 frames per second, for lip syncing, there's so much movement that 24 frames per second looks a lot better. On a separate layer, I already made this girl and shaded her, and I added in this image of the mouths and letters by using the new feature in Flip a Clip, Add Image. I'm going to create a new layer for her mouth. To start, I'll record myself in the sound studio. I'll press the giant plus button, and then let's record our audio. Have a swell day. Have a swell day. I'll drag this audio onto a track, and I want the audio to start right away. So I clicked once, and now I'm gonna drag it in. Press and hold and drag it over. Now I'll go back to the animation. Flip a clip has put in blank frames where we have audio still going. Okay. <laughs> if we scroll forward, we can see that we have 30 keyframes. I'm going to go to my frames viewer, click this button, and then I'm going to copy and paste this first frame 30 times. I go into more detail about the frames viewer in my free Skillshare course. You can find the link in the video description. Now that it's all set up, let's add the mouth. Because the words that I'm saying are so fast, we do not need to add every single mouth position for every letter. I've done it before and it looks a little messy, trust me. The most important mouths to add are the vowels and usually the first and last letters of the word. I'm going to go to my first frame. I'm going to double check that I'm on the mouth layer. And then I'll grab my brush. By dragging your keyframes back and forth, you can hear the sound that goes with that frame. The very first sound I say is have, huh. So I'm going to go over to my reference guide and use this mouth for H. The first words I say are have a. Have a swell day, have a swell day. Because I say have a so fast, I don't think there's time to add in the V mouth, so I'm gonna go straight to the uh, have a. I can hear myself saying uh here, so I'm gonna skip ahead to this one and do this mouth. We have two frames in the middle of those sounds that need mouths. I think since this is a pretty easy transition, I'm just going to copy this mouth and paste it on the next frame. Go to the next frame and paste that. The next sound that comes out is s for have a swell day. The S sound is found here with the teeth clenched together. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in. On this reference chart, the mouth is in a pretty neutral position, but because I'm having her smile, I'm going to make sure that the teeth are curving upward. I scrolled forward to see where the next sound was. The next sound is Ooh, have a swell day. So looking at the chart, we can see that W is here with the ooh sound. So on number 10, I'm going to make her have the W sound. And usually with that sound, your mouth is pushed more forward. So I'm gonna draw her mouth up here. I'm going to go back to where I drew my last mouse, copy it, and paste it a few times on the next frames. But on the ninth frame, you can see that the mouth goes from a smile with the teeth to a ooh. I wanna to try to in between this. To do that, I'm just going to move her mouth a little more forward with the teeth. And then I'm going to click and drag to see if that makes sense. I think that looks pretty good. In this frame, I can hear her saying, eh, have a swell day. The eh sound is this first mouth we have here. Most of our vowel sounds are using this mouth right here. So I'm going to draw in that mouth. I'm worried that having this O sound only on one frame 
won't look very good. So I'm going to copy this mouse and move it to the next frame. And then I'm going to go back and erase that mouse. I want this O to really stand out. So I'm going to draw one more O slightly forward and a little smaller. Now I can go back to the E eh sound for swell and I'm going to copy and paste that a few times until you can hear the L sound. Have a swell day. I can hear the L sound here. So I'll go back one frame and paste in the E eh mouth. Now we're going to draw the L. This is a fun one. You can see that L and F both have the tongue in the mouth. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this one. When I scrolled forward, it looks like she's saying swell for a very long time. This is the point when I can hear her say D for day. The D sound is this clenched teeth again. So I'll draw that in. And then I'll go back and fill in the other mouths. To make sure that our mouths look like they flow together, I'm going to in between this mouth. I'm going to draw the tongue slightly down because that's what tongues look like when they're saying the L sound. Now we're on have a swell d day. That means we're almost on our last sound. For the day sound, I'm going to go back to this vowel mouth. So when I hear her say A, I'll put that mouth in. Now we can go back, copy this mouth, and paste it in between. And now the final mouth is the A mouth. So I can fill that in for the rest of the frames. When I can see down here that the audio is done, I'm going to draw in a smile. I'll copy that and paste it on the rest of the frames. I was very careful during this animation to make sure that her mouth stayed in the same place. It can be pretty easy to move her mouth around while you're doing this process, so make sure that you know where the mouth is supposed to go. It looks a lot smoother this way. I'm going to go ahead and push play to preview it. Have a swell day. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see that this lip sync looks great. Special thanks to Little Catty Music for this video idea. If you have any video ideas, leave it in the comments. Syncing up a voice to your animation can be pretty tricky at first. Be patient with yourself and you'll get there. Believe me, this took forever to get right. I hope this helps. Have a swell day.